the Kerala people, all the progressive uh, democratic forces in Kerala, wholeheartedly uh, welcomed the Supreme Court judgment uh, uh, upholding the entry of all women, irrespective of their ages, into Shabrimala Temple. Uh, uh, actually, uh, the Shabrimala question uh, earlier, uh, all people were allowed to irrespective of their gender, irrespective of their caste, religion, all were allowed to enter, all were entering Shabrimala. And it is only in 1991 uh, High Court judgment by the then High Court judge Pariburna, Justice Pariburna, uh, who legally banned the entry of women uh, between 15 and 50 uh, years of old. Uh, actually, this question comes in the wake of the ascendancy of the Brahmanical forces. Uh, they are hold over the Shavarimala temple. Wherever the Brahmanical forces, the Savarna forces are having their hold, as a general rule, there the Lokash people and the women are denied their rights. Historically, Kerala gained the entry of all people into temples, uh, Lokash people, uh, especially Avarna people. This entry was uh, facilitated by uh, very militant struggles led by erstwhile communist leaders. And Kerala has a tradition of uh, democratization even in worship also. But today, the, 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 the reactionary forces are bouncing back. And uh, the Kerala situation, Kerala situation is such that the ruling CPIM led government, they instead of taking a bold position of implementing the Supreme Court order, they initially took an ambivalent position that siding with the progressive forces, apparently siding with the progressive forces on the one hand, and at the same time pampering the Hindu sentiments for the sake of votes. This created the problem and the situation was actually exploited by the Brahmanical RSS Hindutva forces to their advantage. Now, after a time, when the High Court again upheld based on a petition from the reactionary forces, the High Court again upheld the Supreme Court order that uh, during the last three days, uh, two or three days, the Pranay government has come strongly against the reactionary forces who created obstructions and problems in Shabrimaga. So our perspective is that the right to worship, the right to enter a temple, as far as we communists are concerned, it is none of our business. But in a particular context when the right to enter a temple is obstructed or the right to worship is obstructed, that's a democratic question. So therefore we uphold the women's right to enter the temple in the name of their purity. The, the women are denied because those forces, those reactionary uh, the Hindutva forces who are upholding Manismriti, they are using the, their uh, rules of Manismriti to, to uh, ostracize, I mean to, to avoid the women as well as the low caste people entering Shabarimala. One more point, the Shabarimala is actually owned by the, yes, the tribal community, the Malarias, the, uh, the mountainous people. They owned the Shavarimala. You, you, you can uh, little explain about that uh, history. Uh, that, that earlier, the Shavarimala was not at all connected with the Hindutva tradition. It has nothing to do with the Brahmanical tradition. Shavarimala actually belongs to the Buddhist tradition. And uh, as per the written history, the Malarias and the mountainous people, tribes, they were having control of the Shavarimala for almost uh, until a century by. But it is the ascendancy of the Hindutva forces and the formation of the state, the coming of the coming into being of the Devasam board that is um, uh, managing the affairs of the Shabarimala, that these, uh, re, uh, these uh, Savarna Hindutva forces uh, and uh, the Brahmanical forces how they are hold. So they ousted the traditional uh, tribes who had their control over Shabarimala. And now these people are demanding a good thing. 
a, a positive development is that the tribal community, the low caste people, the deprived people, the oppressed caste in Kerala how, are becoming conscious of their rights, how they were exploited, how they were ostracized, how they were excluded from the mainstream and therefore they are now uniting, they have no concern about their rights and they are now becoming stronger and stronger and uh, even though a temporary negative atmosphere is created in the coming days it is the oppressed it is the democratic forces it is the progressive forces who are going to gain from this struggle and their consciousness has been risen by this offensive on the part of the rightist forces so it is a positive development that is coming for the future this is our perspective um. How they are diverting the real issue, the uh, PJP and uh, uh, Congress are now they are diverting the real issue uh, facing the people. No, no, now, uh, actually, we, the Supreme, they have to implement the, uh, both BJP and uh, Congress, they have to obey the uh, rules of the Supreme Court. But the, 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 for, for the diversion purpose, they are using the Bhakti for uh, how they are using that? Actually, the Supreme Court order should be seen in the context of several representations to the court from the very same people. For example, it is known that the RSS affiliated people went to the Supreme Court for implementing, uh, for asking the, uh, demanding the entry of women to Shabrimana. Uh, once they got the order, they used it as a double-edged weapon. So they got the order from the Supreme Court. And after getting the order, they, when the government willy-nilly came forward for implementing it, they uh, obstructed it and they used it as a alibi, as a, as a contest for organizing the rightist forces uh, in favor of vote banks. Now the RSS and the BJP in India as well as in Kerala is confronting a very serious challenge from the people because the people are facing so many livelihood problems, so many real issues. All these problems could be diverted easily by uh, taking up this question. And uh, the Congress also is actually have become a B team of the B BJP in Kerala. Now the BJP is gaining more than the Congress and by supporting the BJP, the Congress has reduced as a B team. It is just like what happened in the case of the Babri Masjid episode. There the Congress government led by Narasimha Rao provided all uh, uh, facilities, all uh, situation. Uh, the military was actually uh, given protection to the hooligans who destroyed the uh, Babri Masjid. So yeah, yeah, the, same, the same approach is taken by Congress here. When the reactionary BJP, when the reactionary Hindutva, Brahminical forces are coming uh, with their ulterior, with their reactionary motives. Instead of taking a different uh, perspective, the Congress also is in search of vote banks, is supporting the BJP demand. Therefore, the Congress is also actually being degenerate, has, is being become reduced and the gain has gone to BJP now. So, uh, the, regarding CPIM, they actually failed to de-ideologize the people. They failed to politicize the people. The CPM cadets are depoliticized. So the same cadets are used by RSS people and the CPM people today. Because the de-ideologized, the depoliticized uh, cadets of CPIM, they are used by the RSS also. And the same cadets are used by CPM also. And that is the drawback of the present situation. And the CPM having no alternative to the system and they are also gaining because of the this uh, Shabarimala issue because so many problems, the flood question, so many issues are there and uh, the CPM is going after foreign uh, forces, World Bank, ADB etc for funding the post flood construction and therefore the people are actually uh, should know all these things but instead of uh, giving an because of this problem, because of this CPM, this Abhinimala issue, uh, using it as a cover, the CPM is uh, going in for a uh, reconstruction of Kerala uh, in favor of the corporate classes, in favor of the big landowners, in favor of the big speculative classes, real estate builders, 
seeking loans and grants from ADB and World Bank and uh, implementing their conditionalities. Actually, we should know that the flood is has become so serious in Kerala not because of the amount of rain, rain, rainfall alone. Compared with the 1924 rainfall, this time only half uh, flood half of the rainfall was there. But the situation became so grave because of the after effects, because of the unfavorable uh, entry uh, intervention in nature, because of the construction along the river banks, because of the demolition of the western guts, because of quarry and because of all corporate onslaught on western guts and the nature that the flood gas became so serious for Kerala people. So, you know, instead of reversing this pro-corporate, instead of reversing this anti-nature, instead of reversing these uh, anti-people policies, by seeking funds and loans from foreign sources, the CPM is bent on implementing the very same uh, development model which has created these floods. So the situation is becoming serious in that sense also. So this question is also now camouflaged or covered up by the Sabri issue. Okay. So.